If you've had solar installed recently, you're more than likely going to want some sort of export tariff to make the best use of all of that excess solar you're likely to be sending back to the grid during summertime. If you're with Octopus Energy here in the UK, then they have a number of different export tariffs, but not all of them are compatible with all of the import tariffs, so it can often be confusing to know what the best option is. Thankfully, they do also have a very convenient online tool that you can use to find out what the best option is for you, so let's take a look at it now. And here it is, it's just a web link that you can use. I'll put that in the description so you can take a look yourself. And all it is is a matrix of options that combine import on the left hand side there with export along the top. So all of these different tariffs along the left are your import options. So you've got your fixed, your flexible, agile, tracker, uh, intelligent go, cozy octopus, uh, regular go, Flux, intelligent flux, and no import. So that's if your import is with a different supplier. Now along the top, you've got the various export tariffs. You've got outgoing fixed, outgoing agile, outgoing fixed light, flux, intelligent flux, and the smart export guarantee. So the two special tariffs here uh, to consider are flux and intelligent flux. So if I scroll down, you'll notice that they have their own uh, tariff for both import and export. So if you're on the imports, uh, flux tariff, you will automatically get the export flux tariff as well. And the same is true with the intelligent flux tariff. The import tariff has its own export tariff and you can see that um, you don't have the option of any other export tariff if you're on either of those two flux tariffs. However, let's take a look at some of the other options. One of the more common ones that I get asked about is um, regular Go and Intelligent Go. So um, we've got uh, Intelligent Go in this row here and um, regular Go in this row just a couple of rows below. And you can see that with Intelligent Go, you have the option of either the outgoing fixed at 15 pence a kilowatt hour or the agile outgoing um, export rate. So outgoing agile has a different export rate for every half hour during the day. Um, and I'll show you some examples of the historical prices that you could get recently. Um, and they've uh, conveniently got some data that you can inspect yourself to help you make the right decision. But the important thing to consider here is if you're on regular go, you can't get either of those two export rates. You can only get this um, outgoing light, which is only 8 pence a kilowatt hour, not 15 pence a kilowatt hour. So if you're with regular go, you're not going to be able to make the best use of your export. Um, and if you're able to upgrade to Intelligent Go, then that would definitely be my recommendation. However, obviously you need a particular uh, compatible charger or EV um, that allows Octopus to take control and do the charging for you. That's, that's why they're able to give you this better export rate for Intelligent Go versus regular Go, because they actually control when you charge. So you giving up a little bit of control gives you the option of that slightly higher export rate. You'll also notice that this um, uh, outgoing fixed rate is also compatible with uh, Cozy Octopus, which is the heat pump tariff that, that Octopus offer. So you'll notice that you can get both of the, uh, the fixed uh, outgoing and the agile outgoing rates for Cozy. So that's, that's worth uh, knowing. In this final column, you'll see the Smart Export Guarantee only has a rate of 4.1 pence per kilowatt hour. So that's pretty bad even compared to the outgoing fixed light tariff. Um, so I would avoid that if you can. It's a holdover from the old days of the feed-in tariff and uh, really for most modern systems you'll want to consider one of these other options. So if you don't already have an export tariff then if you scroll down to the bottom of this particular page you can click on this outgoing octopus link and it will take you to the sign up page for it and here it gives you the two options of outgoing agile or outgoing fixed. It also explains why you can't get um, the uh, outgoing fixed with in, uh, regular octopus go uh, if you click on that link there. Um, you can apply using that link just there. If you were interested in the outgoing Agile tariff and wanted to see some of the historical data, then you can click on the link here and it will take you to a little tool that allows you to inspect some of the historical prices that have been uh, paid out in the last few days. So you can click on today, yesterday, um, whatever day you like. And you, if you scroll along here, you can see, um, generally speaking, during the day, the export rate is kind of low, six or seven pence but it peaks up around the 13, 14, 15 pence mark um, between sort of 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. This is the traditional sort of peak period in the UK between four and seven in the evening. And you'll always get a, a higher export rate during that time on, on Agile compared to the rest of the day. And if you use the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom all the way out to see a full week's worth of data. 
And if you take a look on the left hand side there in the red text, you can see that the um, average of the outgoing agile rate is about 8.59 pence per kilowatt hour. But if you're able to export during the peak period, then you might find that you can get um, a closer, closer to 15 or 16 pence per kilowatt hour on average. So it's up to you whether you prefer this sort of uh, variable export rate or the more steady fixed rate of 15 pence a kilowatt hour that you get with outgoing fixed. So there you go. I hope that clarifies a few things for you if you were confused about what uh, export rates were available for your particular import rate. If you're not with Octopus and you want to combine any of their import and export rates, please feel free to use my referral link, which is above my head right now. And if you do that, we'll both get £50 credited to our account, which is really helpful. But that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.